How you doing? I'm hey. Dave McKinney. Hey Dave, I'm Matt. Nice to meet you, Matt. Nice to meet you, man. So tell us a little bit about your truck. 2000 Freightliner, 2008 Wabash Reefer. Yeah. Uh, Detroit 14 liter for power. Just the general, you know. Freightliner in a Detroit, you say? Right. Exactly. Yes, it okay. is. Okay. Yep. So what made you build a Freightliner? I'd uh, be different. Absolutely wanted to be different. Want to have something unique, something different. Right. I mean, everybody, everybody has their own deal. I like Freightliner. Right, Just right, right. You're one of five in the I-75 Chrome Shop parking lot Freightliners. That's what it usually is. And it's a cool truck by by all <laughs> means. You, all these it. all these Peterbilts and Kenworths. There's like five Freightliners. It's a very pretty truck. I appreciate. Um, it. Who did your paint work? Uh, four state trucks up in Joplin, Missouri did it three years ago. Very cool. Matching reefer. Absolutely. That is super cool. You know, as a kid, I always thought the trucks with the matching trailers were where it's at. Yeah. That guy had it going on. Exactly. And yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to paint it to match, have it all look the same. I just. Right. It's just the way I like it. Absolutely. It is very pretty truck. I appreciate it. Pretty truck. So. Detroit powered, what kind of transmission you got? 10 speed transmission, it's kind of a beginner thing, you know. Oh, I see, you small know. baby steps. Do know. they put bigger transmissions they or Freightliners? Like, every once in a while you see an 18 speed or maybe a 13 Is speed. Is that, who do they get to drive those trucks? Well, you gotta find a different guy. Okay. You know, 10 speed okay. is as far as you can go. That's someday. a retired Peterbilt guy will drive the big transmission exactly. trucks. Cool, exactly. cool. Now, man, it is a super cool truck. Everything matches. I've kind of walked around it. You got some, some really cool stainless quarter fenders on the back it's Absolutely. it's like a real chicken truck man that's real kind of the, that's what it was back real in the day produce pimp right yeah here. yeah <laughs> so yeah super cool man um, thank you have you done anything to the interior uh seats seats up. yeah it's not much for anything I, I still want to do the interior that's it's a process right so yeah, right absolutely did the air ride front end this last couple weeks i've seen that that's pretty cool it's got a good look to it yeah, looks really cool sitting here what made you put the single rounds on it? You trying to go for the I Peterbilt like look? look. Yeah, well, you know, I'm a wannabe. Yeah, so I see, we go I see. Peterbilt every yeah. once in a while. A double cool. J's, exactly. Yeah. So. And, yep. you know, knock off Kenworth hood. You know, you got to have that wire. Well, you know, I got another friend of mine says, if you don't cut it up, it's not custom. So, you know, okay. but no, it really is cool, man. You got a super cool look. I, I really that. like it. Um, I met with you the other day and we kind of walked around. You pointed yeah. out some stuff. Absolutely. Super cool truck. Absolutely. Really. I, I mean, even the Peterbilt guys got to give you kudos, man every once in a while. <laughs> well, I'm there's a few. Next to one, and there's another one on the other side, so it's kind of well, kind of blend in. So you're the cream in a Peterbilt sandwich, you say. Exactly. Hey, yeah. Exactly. That's right. So anyway, so Matt, tell us what you do with the truck. I run produce out of South Florida, LTL stuff out of St. Louis, run all over the country. But like right now, with produce season's coming on here in Florida, so I'll run here till late May, early June, and then start going back out towards California. Run produce out of California. So do you have a pretty good gig with that, or is this like multiple pickups up and down the coast? Uh, usually three or four pickups, one stop usually in St. Louis, and then turn around and come back and do it again. Right, right. So that's what you've kind of done your whole trucking career, or what? Pretty much LTL stuff, yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah. See, I'm right the opposite on that. I, 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 I'm not a multiple pick, you know, multiple drop guy. I kind of think if you like it easy. Yeah, yeah. If you I want to do that, I would have been a postman. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So you don't want to have to push a button, turn the heat, you know, reefer on. Whatever. Right. You got to have a flatbed, strap it down, and go. Exactly. That's kind of the way I did no, it. I'm but thinking. but you know, everybody has their own niche, and I don't know much about the the reefer business or anything like that. I've never right. done it. I've always been a flatbed guy. And right. Everybody likes different things. Right. I just, I've always done reefer stuff. I've done some flatbed stuff, but. Refrigerated stuff is always what I've done. Well, you've definitely got a cool unit here. You go to California in like the winter time, or yeah. no? I run California like spring. Well, spring starts coming back up into California. I'll run there, but most of the time, like I said, I'll run here, Florida, run produce out back up there to St. Louis and LTL stuff back down right. to St. Louis. Right. Multi stops, that kind of thing, back down this way and then back up again. Cool. Yep. Cool. That is. Uh, that's completely different than what I do, and I kind of like to learn what everybody else's niche is. Absolutely. You know, it's kind of it's kind of fun to see what people do, and you know, I think I've got the gravy train, and and you probably think you got the <laughs> you got the gravy. So it's kind of it's kind of neat to see what everybody yeah. what their ideas of what's right and what's wrong. Easy and what's right yeah, and wrong, exactly. yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah, I'm old now. I don't want to go much farther than Nashville from where I live. So I yeah, like I'm, I want a truck an hour and a half stay, away stay to come back. To where it's at and I, st I still claim to my claim to fame is I still drive a truck, but yeah, I don't go more than an sure hour and a half man. away. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. 
So, yeah. but anyway, that's super cool. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate it. So, David, what exactly do you do with your truck? Besides run short haul and kind of part-time stuff, what exactly do you do? Lots of part-time stuff. Mm, Lots like of that. part-time yeah, stuff. Like no, that. that's my truck's name and... and uh, part-time? Uh, part-time, yeah. <laughs> so, I, uh, I have a... Uh, I got about 15 trucks and I try to get out and truck every... I try to get out more than I actually do, you but hobby truck. I do hobby truck, and I will promise you that trucking is so much more fun when you hobby truck. For Absolutely. me, it is. And, Absolutely. But then I feel guilty that I'm asking my guys to pound the ground every day, and here I am. And when I go trucking, I got a really cool truck, and I just, I just kind of hobby truck when I want to, and and it's to me, it's so much more fun now. It brings back Absolutely. back in the day when, when it's you know, enjoyable. when you were young. Oh yeah, so much more enjoyable for me now, and and so. Yeah, let's uh, go see that truck. Let's go. Let's go, man. So, David. Yes, sir. We've walked all the way across the parking lot here. Um, is this it? This is it. I mean, I'm sorry that I brought everybody down this far just to look at my junk, but this is it. Well, this is how the other half lives. Yeah. I mean, is this a thing to fit in with everybody else out here? Or you're, you're confident in what you do and what you have, correct? Well, yes. I mean, I would wave at you, but I probably wouldn't stop talking <laughs> I was going to say you won't get your hand yeah, up too I mean, high. Don't, yeah. don't go too high. I have a parade wave. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tell them about the truck. It's 2016 Pride and Class Peterbilt, um, 389. Yeah. Um, it's 2019 Retinauer flatbeds painted to match. Right. I bought this truck because we had another truck that we were going to haul around. We were making a, a, a real show truck right. out of it. Right. I had a bunch of trucks and I was driving old 359. Well, I didn't want to haul a show truck around with a 359. And um, so I bought this truck and, and it just kind of it progressively went kind of crazy right but it's a uh, glider it is a glider it's got a c15 cat um we took it, it took the sent the tune to diesel freaks they tuned it uh -huh. it's about 650 horsepower 18 speed 355 so this is a goer and a shower oh yeah yeah <laughs> it it does a good job it does a real good job. 18 speed i'm sure oh yeah peterbilt's come standard with 18 speeds correct damn right absolutely yeah big horns yeah big horns. don't get your arm up too high to wave at a guy in a freight liner come all, all the, the way floor, down to the all bottom the all the time yeah absolutely so you absolutely. got the cool wave you know absolutely the little that's right yeah absolutely yeah, i get man. it absolutely I, it's the life. I mean, dude. the Freightliner guys, don't I, they go down the road like this all the time? I do. Well, I have to sit yeah. on my hands yeah. and stop from no, waving at people so much because then they look at me like I've just escaped the mental institution or whatever. Yeah. But that's just me, you know, whatever. No, but it's a bitching truck, dude. Thank you. Thank you. It, it was, uh, we kind of, first off, um, I had no intention of this to be right. what it is. I, I bought this truck to haul my other truck around and work it whenever I wanted to work. And um, so we striped it and uh, put the fenders, it had polished fenders on it, and I didn't really care for them. So we polished it, it and my, the truck that we were gonna show is, is these colored blues. Okay. Um, and that's a truck that fed my family for many years, uh -huh. and so. So there is a there is an absolute story behind the color combination, oh, everything you do on the truck. definitely, yeah, so that, cool. the truck that's that color fed my family for many years. It started my business, fed the kids, and bought the farm, you know? Absolutely. And so, this is what we were going to do with this. We were just going to kind of haul it around, haul right. that truck around, and then this would be my truck because I don't want to get in another truck and all this. I'd as soon have my bedding if I get to hung out or something like that. Right, right. So, um, kind of things progressed, and we went to Super Rigs. Um, we were supposed to take the other truck to yeah. Super Rigs, right? and it didn't get ready. So, uh, I asked my wife, I said, do you want to go to the beach or do you want to go to Super Rigs? And it's because it's our anniversary weekend. She said beach, right? She No, she said, we've never been to Super Rigs. Oh. And I was like, well, let's go. So, we took yeah. off and, and this truck made the Super Rigs calendar. That's awesome. And That's I an had honor. not been in the show truck world long enough to really appreciate right. that I made a Super Rigs calendar. That's awesome. Okay. Um, so, it was like, oh, it's really not that big a deal. Yeah. Well, then I bought the trailer and we painted it to match and we went out to... Uh, to four states yeah. at, at GBAT, yeah. and I won best of show combo, and I got a calendar spot out there. I saw you there. You didn't wave at me. I was there too. Well, it's because I thought I was better than everybody. I was across the street. Yeah, that's, that's where they had a freight behind the barn. From. Yeah, where the so, outhouse is. Yeah. Well, you probably didn't come talk to me. If you'd have come talk to me, I would have been friendly as I could be. But, uh, if you, yeah. but if you know you were over there and you didn't come talk to me. That's on you. We gotta learn these yeah, things. Yeah, see, you come talk to me, I'll talk <laughs> to anybody. Don't be scared to talk That's to people, right. exactly. That's right, I just look like this. I'm really not a bad guy. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, anyway, so it kind of progressed from there. We did really well with it. Um, the truck's name is Part-Time. Um, I get out and work if I have a guy that's out sick or yeah. if I just get sick of being in the office, I'll get right. out and truck a little bit. But we don't do a lot of long haul stuff. Yeah. Um, we're kind of, 
North Alabama up in the Kentucky area, Middle Tennessee. Absolutely. Um, that sort of thing. So um, everybody gives me a hard time that it's uh, it's I'm on the third oil change and the third set of batteries. So it's all that matters. So you know you're enjoying I, it. I put new batteries in to go truck showing, but no, it's it's a little better than that. But um, no, it's really cool truck and we enjoy it and it's kind of made its rounds and and. I'm probably going to start trying to work a little bit more than I have been because I truck. really hate being in the office. I don't blame you. Yeah. I don't blame you. It's an awesome truck, man. Thank you. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Dave. It was good to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you, man. Thanks, boss. Appreciate it.